Christian arrives at a stately home. It's called Beautiful. The pilgrim is looking for a place to rest overnight. The palace beautiful represents the church. Christian goes down a narrow passage towards the porter's lodge. He's met by two roaring lions, timorous, which means fearful, and mistrust, to be suspicious of or have no confidence in. Christian is afraid. He goes to turn back. However, the porter of the palace was watching him. His name is Watchful. Eagerly calling him back, Watchful cries out, Is your strength so small? He tells Christian the lions are chained and are placed there for the trial of faith. Keep to the path. No harm will come to you. Have faith. He obeys and passes the lions with fear and trembling. Christian finally gets to the porter watchful. He asks if he can stay at the palace. He learns that the house was built for relief and security of pilgrims. It is written in the Bible that Jesus builds the church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Christian tells Watchful his story of his journey from the city of destruction and tells him that he is going to Mount Zion. Arriving late, he is very tired. Christian shares his story with other members of the house, in particular to a lady called Discretion. Discretion is the ability to recognize what is true and distinguish it so that one can approve what is excellent. Christian is questioned by discretion to see if what he says is true. He speaks about his journey, his salvation, his story and his identity. Discretion accepts Christian's story and other members of the family are called to welcome him. Some of the family members meet him. Prudence, piety and charity. Prudence represents our carefulness to walk in the wisdom and truth of God's word. Piety represents our personal devoutness and devotion to God. Charity represents our compassion and love for others. Christian is then invited to have supper together with the family members, representing the Lord's Supper. Christian rested peacefully that night in a safe place with new loving friends. The Palace Beautiful resembles the church. A church is important for Christians because it's a place where Christians learn and worship God, grow together and watch out for each other. In the morning, his new friends encourage him to visit two rooms, the study and the armory, to see the rarities of the palace. The study represents the teaching and preaching of the Bible. Christian learns about the history, past, present and future of the people and the places in the Bible, the family line of Jesus and the message of the Gospel. He then visits the armory that tells how living the Christian life is a battle facing sin and temptations. He learns about the significance of armour and he is being prepared for the battle to come.